I've been teaching now for nearly six years. Uh, I used to be a scaffolder. Um, I'd always wanted to be a teacher, um, but decided that um, it was never a right moment to leave. I ended up, in the end, um, biting the bullet and becoming a teacher. Uh, and from day one, I've absolutely loved it. And my old head of the department um, wrote a bid um, so that we could get a science engineering club. And after that, um, it's just sort of like built from there. Now that I'm in charge of the whole thing, um, and I'm involved with writing bids and for more grants and stuff like that so that we can have lots of fun activity for the students. We do things like making MP3 amplifiers. We have people come in from uh, different universities who come in and do a forensics outreach scheme. We organised a technology day last year um, and we had 10 schools from all around London um, who come to the school and we had a, a technology day competition. Um, unfortunately our school won. Um, I tried to fill it so that we wouldn't but um, unfortunately we were the best school. That's all right. I mean, just give it a test. Since Alex has taken over the, the STEM club, um, we've been doing this um, as an astronomy club, basically. And um, we've been putting a lot of science, technology and maths into it. When I first heard that he was been awarded this uh, award, I thought um, a great honour, not just for him, but for the school as well, and that they've recognised what he's achieved here. I've got kids who are gifted and talented, I've got kids that are not gifted and talented um, and you know it, it's just a nice lovely mix and it's kids who are here on a Friday afternoon for instance here do, putting in extra time because they want to be here and I think that's quite important and I get a lot of pleasure knowing that they want to be here for that. When I received the letter um, I was very very surprised. Uh, I did think that it was a wind-up um, I'm quite well known within the school for playing practical jokes on people. Uh, so I did have a little look over my shoulder. Uh, I was quite, I was very, very humbled obviously, but I didn't think that a prestigious society like the Royal Society would want anything to do with me. Um, so it, it was very, very exciting uh, and I'm very honoured and humbled that I've received such an award.